this is Stevio here playing on the tournament. So we are going hard on cotton. We got more cotton bales to sell. So the price is twenty five hundred bucks. So we are hauling hard to our barn set up so there was some new rules set up because it was a little unclear because we have placeable bale sell points which are basically the standard price so uh, there was no rules preset so I thought it was anybody's option I was allowing people to come to my farmyard and sell on my bale sell point and other ways but they, their new rule is basically so if it's on your land, it's your sell point or your farmyard. So, which is fine by me. So, we are taking it to one of our sell points over here. We're hauling cotton bales. So we are at just about six million. So we're doing fairly good. So I put this sell point down. Unfortunately, I don't own enough of the land to uh, make a proper road for it. And so I have these small farmyards, but they're. I don't actually own the land around them, so doesn't allow me to do any basically terraform the land, so some of the land isn't viable. Let's say, ooh, I backed up a little bit too far. So we are driving our new 2500 HD Chevy. So my hired hands wanted another work truck. So they've been working hard. They deserve it. So they got another truck on the farm. We still have the K30 and the Ford work truck. So the Ford work truck, uh, it just doesn't pull the gooseneck very well so I believe that's why they decided to get the 2500 HD and two so we had another cotton harvester fall off the map so I did similar to these fields as I did to field so field six and seven or I did that basically because we we can't have our harvesters falling off the map so no that's his five sorry so five and seven uh, six has a tree claim right there so one of our cotton harvesters fell off the map which on this map forces you to sell that harvester and rebuy it so I don't want my innocent workers falling off the map so I made now I call it the cotton harvester catcher because cotton harvesters they only have a six row head so they're a little bit more narrow so one squeezed through or just perfectly placed right through and off the map which also we lost the bale and said harvester but it happens so stuff like that happens so just part of the game so we're doing pretty good we're got we went down hard into cotton so five of our fields just round the clock round the clock we have our harvesters running which was primarily my goal so uh, we can only have two hired hand at any time so 
I didn't want so that I don't want to have to run a cotton harvester much myself so I just don't enjoy it so we are back John Deere man and gorilla man both join the server so I believe Gorilla Man and Spencer TV, they're going to be a tough challenge. So basically, I don't, the only reason I, I think they're going to probably be the closest. So they have a good chance to win. And the only reason I, my team has a chance to win is the hard work of uh, Helper Gus. There's a few other helpers, like Austin Farmer sometimes gets on. I'm only allowed to have one helper at one time. So, a lot of the same times Gus is on as Austin Farmer gets on. Uh, Wooly, he's been really helping me out. He's a great teammate, so that's the only reason you see almost six million dollars in our bank account so I've been busy working so I only have a, a select amount of hours available to go jump on here so so I don't I think this is the last load I won't I don't want to bore you all by hauling these bales back and forth constantly. So I know we need to fertilize the fields. So I'd like to do that. There you go, $155,000. I should have backed up the trailer. I think I'll drive through the bale barn again. So we're going to go leave this parked right here. I think we'll leave the trailer parked in there. Or actually, we'll take the trailer back, sorry. Because I don't want to block this cell point off for other people because this is not technically on our farmyard, so other people can use it if they want. So, I don't want to have an unfair advantage to anybody else, so that's a little bit closer. Maybe team one, if they, sell, if they have bales they need to sell, and uh, team two can utilize that sell point. We'll take this back quickly and then we will jump into our fertilizer spreader because we gotta fertilize some of our fields preparing for planting. And then we end up disking at, after we fertilize because cotton, it's very stimmy, uh, hard plant where you can't run no-till practices. But we are trying to play as realistic as possible we don't know till our cotton into its advantage so if you basically fertilize and then you go right into and then you plow the field cultivate plow rip then you the field is available for the next fertilizer shut that off quickly there we go I always forget to shut these off I left this tractor running too just burning up diesel on my farm such a non eco-friendly farm here so we will get into our Kenworth T88 has a spreader on the back Love the looks of this spreader. Do a little first person action here. I'm not crazy about that visor. Like, the visor 
It looks really cool, but it really cuts off your field of view in here. And this is uh, one of them semis where you just really want to do uh, first person driving. Because all the switches, gauges, even has little radio switches, volume, cruise control on the steering wheel. I wonder if truck sprayers, if they use cruise control while they're spreading fertilizer. I don't know that answer. Or if they have some type of throttle set or speed limiter. So... I need to see which one of my fields needs fertilizer. Looks like field 5 does. Field 6. Okay. Yep. Field 5 right in front of us. So I need to set my guidance control. This is actually 36. I wish there was a faster way to do this. Oh wait. You guys are probably yelling at me right now. I need to turn it back down. I just figured this out. figured out one of these times. There we go. We'll set our A point. That's Alt E. We'll follow along as closely as possible to this edge. So this is a good spreading truck. You can spread at 18 mile an hour. Got them big floater tires on it so it can really take the shock of the field. go now our GPS is set now we can do a little in cab spraying not sure where I wasn't on the server when our cotton harvester took flight lessons off the side of the map so I'm sure it was a crazy event for our hired hand it was in the harvester so, RIP to the hired hand, the cotton harvester, and the bale inside the cotton harvester. That's worth about 56000 a piece. You lose about, what, 25% of the cost of the harvester having to sell it. I think it's 25, so... A lot of money. Never actually uh, utilized GPS inside a cab here, so this is a new, this is pretty cool. Uh, I wish this inside the cab means this is a sprayer truck, that it had like a little GPS monitor over here. It'd be way more realistic. Sometimes I just wish I was better at modding where I could kind of make that type of stuff. And uh, fix these type of things, like this truck has a few uh, errors in it. It doesn't have uh, fuel, so it runs on uh, fertilizer, I guess, or air. 
So it does have a field gauge on it. it also doesn't work with course play. That may be it. Why it doesn't work with course play. So it works with hired hand though. But other than that, it's a pretty good mod. So this is, I believe, the same mod cust or same semi custom modding came out. T800 880 oh, good modding group there put out a lot of good mods to consoles and to PCs I believe two of their tractors just came out the 9RT now console players can have and the 8R so PCs have had them for a while, uh, consoles are now able to have them, which is good. It looks like we are leaving a little whiff, so we are going to have to reset this. go hopefully now it reads it I did not mean to turn it off there we go okay now it reset it go uh, we probably have a little bit of overlap which is probably realistic because uh, I don't know if the the volume amount that it gets it all the way to the side there is even so you want to even spread out your fertilizer Let's maximize your crop spread along here this is I think this is so cool it's, so realistic when you get to drive in a cab here and uh, GPS sounds are just like real life which is pretty cool too looks like we're listening to some tunes over there can't exactly read what we're listening to we got the uh, driver performance we're at 70% doesn't I don't know what that means so when I drove semi I did not drive something this new and fancy that's for sure so I don't know why they ended up disking this before they put down fertilizer so that's a little odd so You lot, usually I put down fertilizer, then I disc, but I wasn't the one that ran the disc, so that's alright. No biggie, we can always re-disc, not a big issue. So it looks like we do not have, we're not leaving a gap now, so that's good. Doing good. So what do you guys like? Do you like in cab, first person, or do you like outside of cab? This is my favorite. This is what I think is the coolest by far, because you get to see the scenery, get to see Get to see all the clouds. This you get to see what your implement is doing. Uh, Farming Simulator 19 has gotten very, very good at like their mirrors are more useful in 19. They were in 17, but it's still really hard to see from the in cap point of view 
where what your implement's doing and keeping track of it. There's been multiple of my viewers ask me to do first person. So that's what you guys like. I'll do more of it. If you guys like this instead, then I'll keep doing it this way. So we are making really good time fertilizing this field. We're really knocking out the acres. It looks like we might slightly be leaving a gap. I don't know if that's enough of a gap to be concerned with. So I'm probably not going to readjust it. Looks like I should have went with 31 instead of 32. 32 is just slightly too wide. So this, we've got the, the, the spreader extension on here so it actually gives you an extra little lip gives you a little bit more capacity in the truck here figure with the floater tires on this truck it could easily pull the extra weight and not cause compaction so I believe we're doing pretty good in this Tournament. So this is, I believe, day four of the tournament. Doing, making good time, turning the fields around, getting new crops in, planting, harvesting what we have. So. That's the most important thing, is turning the crop. So we basically, when we started out, we decided that we weren't going to do any animals for the simple fact that we didn't know if we, with the amount of land we bought, we'd have the time to do that. With just So you can only have two people on at one time on your farm. And it just wasn't helping us out. So, we decided to just put basically all of our chips in a crop. So, when we first started, we were trying to figure it out. You know, I didn't want to go into cotton right when we first buy the auction because I knew. I didn't want to drive a cotton harvester at six rolls. It would take forever to count in these this size of field. So when they changed the hired hand rule, then obviously that our strategy changed. So I did notice that cotton the crop yield was normal in cotton, which it's not normal in most of the other crops. Like soybean, the yield you get is at least cut in half, if not more. Uh, same with oats, same with corn and wheat. Uh, milo is not, but the price you get at the store isn't high. So. don't think it pays to harvest Milo. So we stayed away from all the specialty crops just because uh, the price at the sell points were not high. So I didn't think they would pay for the effort we'd have to put in. over to the side here is our 9RT with the Landall VT disc. Really works good. I'm going to try to get as a 
all spread over the land all disc there. Get that little bit. And actually we've got to get this corner too. There we go. We will go fill this back up again. I'm going to go check on our harvesters quickly. Jump in a truck. So we're back here at the farm backing up our header trailer. So I want to back this header trailer up. And I really need to clean this truck. This is like a shame to have this truck this dirty. I'm going to have to talk to my hired help tell them that I need to get it in the shop get it a quick look over because it's not running exactly it needs a slight tune up a little paint a little bit of paint wear and tear there so so I need to move the sprayer tractor out of the way. It's, this is the only uh, repair point I know of. I'm not positive. I don't think our big shop here has a repair point. Even if it's a Nice big area. And we'll park the sprayer in here for now. Magnum looks good in there. And I need to shut it off too. Let it run down. I was just letting it idle down first. We will get this into the repair into our shop barn there. Repair it really quickly. Change the oil. I'll grease up the drive shaft. That type stuff. There. Now look at that. Now that's a proper looking truck. Let's go that's, but you see how our hired help are doing it in the cotton harvester. Harvesters. Plural. So it looks like we have a little Milo to the side. I believe that's Team 2's. They have a little alfalfa. I think that's alfalfa. I'm not positive. So, I haven't seen anybody go hard down on alfalfa. Most everyone is just doing crops. I believe it's just us and... I think it's Team 3. A positive Gorilla Man and Spencer TV doing cotton. So I know Gorilla Man and Spencer Spencer TV, they bought two cotton harvesters at the auction, and as soon as they changed the uh, hired help, I, we purchased a cotton harvester. So, because it's good money, it's easy to run. Hired help run the cotton harvesters really easy. trying to so this guy looks like he's doing good I don't know what he was thinking on this strip over here we're gonna have to talk about this over here buddy this right here it's not acceptable 
But other than that, you're doing good. So he's doing good. We will head over to our other cotton harvester. While we're headed over there, I would like to say, I have not said this yet, is how much thankful I am and honored and humbled by all the support, the great comments I've gotten, everyone supporting my the Squad Farms channel, supporting me, uh, saying great comments down there, also giving me constructive criticism here and there, hey, we think you can do this better. I'm not opposed to that. I would like to get better. I'm still somewhat a rookie at YouTube, so if you guys think I could do something better, just let me know. If you liked the, the video, please give me a thumbs up, because it only helps me. And trust me, I try to reply to every comment. Uh, I. I do, I am a busy person, but I really try to take the time because you took the time for me. So, thank you for all your support. I'm truly humbled and honored. So, looks like, is this guy going? I'm not sure if this cotton harvester is picking or not. Don't want to drive on, I believe this is Team 2's. Uh, soybean field so it appears he is still running so that's good we got a couple bales we need to pick up in the field so thank you all for watching we're going to cut it off here, go back, get some supper in her belly. So I will see you later at the tournament.